begin the journey of the next hundred years as members of the 88th General Assembly, I ask that we commit together to exemplify that courage and address the problems we face in 2011. In JFK's book, Profile of Courage, Kennedy shares the stories of Republicans and Democrats and Federalists and Independents who stepped up in tough times with acts of courage. Kennedy writes that to be courageous requires no exceptional qualification, no magic formula, no special combination of time, place, and circumstance. It is an opportunity that sooner or later is presented to us all. Politics merely furnishes one arena where, which imposes a special test of courage. 100 years ago, at the dawn of the age of the automobile, the legislature in this chamber bravely tackled the issue of highways and roads. Our predecessor said that bold action was needed for Arkansas to meet the challenge of economic growth by providing the needed infrastructure. Today, we're called upon to meet that challenge again, to demonstrate the courage to act for common good regardless of short-term political ramifications. Now, so that the crisis and the highway funding issue doesn't create too much discomfort, let me make it clear that the starting point on dealing with this serious problem is not simply raising taxes. Nobody has any love for paying higher taxes. Rather, the starting point is recognizing that we have a funding mechanism that is inadequate to meet current and future highway maintenance and construction needs, <coughs> and then having the courage to modify or change that funding structure so that future generations can safely travel on our highways so that industry will know that we have a viable plan that will ensure their ability to move goods and services swiftly and economically, and so that tourists will be attracted in increasing numbers to enjoy the beauty of our scenic state. But rest assured, that old adage, there's no such thing as a free lunch, is applicable. If we're going to have a bright future for economic development in Arkansas, we will find a way to pay for the highway system that is recognized nationally Likewise, the 38th General Assembly was called upon to deal with matters of prison reform. The issues we face in this area today bear a little similarity to those of 100 years ago, but the point is the same. Changes have to be made, tough changes that will be successfully resolved only with the collective courage of this body. We also owe it to our Kansas that for the next 100 years, our citizens will continue to enjoy our most precious natural resource, our ground and surface water supplies, an adequate quantity, and sure quality. Without a revision of our 22-year-old state water plan, these fundamental and necessary goals will be in jeopardy. We must find the will to ensure these guarantees are in place. We will engage difficult issues that affect every district dealing with education, health care, security, and the environment. Our resolve Policy and funding solutions must be predicated on our commitment to work together for the benefit of all. I believe that we will be judged by our constituents on whether we are willing to stand and answer these problems. And the test of our political character will be the favorable judgment, not from our local newspaper at the end of the session, but of our children and grandchildren when they're standing in our shoes 20 or 30 years. As expressed by my friend Robert Dale, over here, Robert Dale, right back here. Robert said one day, he said, What folks are saying a generation or two from now should be the measure of the worth of our efforts here in the legislature. Robert Dale was right, and I like it. Harry Truman reminded us of our responsibility to govern, to govern with his admonition the buck stops here. The challenges regarding the future good of our state to face the 88th General Assembly need to be resolved by the 88th General Assembly. We do a disservice to ourselves, the people we represent in our districts, and all the citizens of Arkansas if we do otherwise. As we begin our work, remember that regardless of your political party, regardless of the rhetoric involved in the election, we are here not as adversaries, but as partners, sharing the same privilege and responsibilities of representing the best members of all our Kansas. We're not here as some remote battleground related to whatever misgivings are going on in Washington, D.C., because if you don't yet know, please consider and learn that we have enormously more on our plate in taking care of the business of our citizens than we will ever have time to properly deal with. 